Path numbers three and four um, from the bottom of the steps, bottom of the crag steps, meet here. So we're going to go in this direction, not forgetting that on our way back we still have some sort of trail right at the top to have a look at, but uh, that is not the Ringways path um, because uh, uh, of the signpost I found at the bottom of the steps. So let's have a look. What I really want to do now is uh, find somewhere to sit because I desperately need um, a sup, I'm afraid. <sighs> I can just taste my uh, ham sandwich that I'm dying to eat now. So that will be my next um, <clears throat> port of call, I think. Yes, you guessed it. Main path, another fork in the road, on the way down. Just past the waterfall, which is sort of uh, over on that side there. So I'm going to go down and have a look. I can hear lots of shouting coming from that direction. And I think, um, I think uh, there could be some sort of sports centre not too far away. There seems to, sounds like they might be playing a game of football or something like that. So perhaps we're not too far from civilization now on this side. Because, of course, you remember that uh, the Ringways path is completely, um, it's, uh, it, it, it's in several pieces. Um, and some of it even goes through urbanised areas. So um, it's not uncommon for it to stop on one side of the road and continue again. Hello, this is not so easy to go down. Um, and continue <coughs> on the other side of the road. So, um, I reckon we could be soon drawing another cross on the map, but uh, we're going to go down here for now. That looks oddly like it was a campfire at one point. I don't think people are supposed to be camping out here, but there we are. I haven't had this much fun since I went orienteering, you know, with, um, with, uh, gosh, I was in junior school, I think. Now, here's an interesting thing. That's obviously a way back up to the track, which is even worse than the one I've come down. Um, that one goes along there, but it seems to go down and join up with the track that's running across the bottom there but it's running back in that direction so I'm going to go down and have a look yes we went orienteering um, on a school trip uh, it must have been the last year I was at junior school uh, I have no idea exactly where we went. Um, I do because it, it was obviously a big um, sort of site where we all stayed, some sort of recreational uh, sports centre thingy. But I have absolutely can't remember for the life of me what it's called. Another way down to the river. This way I don't think it's going to go very far. Oh, hang on. Oh, hang on, that looks awfully like a bridge there. I was going to say, because I remember coming this way when we were down by this river before and not being able to get um, get through. It was... Uh, so I think this one doesn't carry on very far, this side. I think, it, I think this one might cross over. It does. It does. It goes over the bridge. Look. Just there. Right. Um, another little tributary, I think this might actually be the very bottom of the waterfall where it's going, flowing into the river there. Let's go over the bridge. I might have to put a cross, oops, on the map here and come back to this at some point because this looks horribly like Oh, OK, this is interesting. OK, I understand. So, 
that's the route from that path which deteriorated and has seemingly been stopped by that big bushy tree there. This one, however, goes across. Now there's a fence just there. So I think this one must go up. The interesting thing about this is that this bridge is actually very, very well made um, and extremely large. This, this bridge is capable of carrying traffic, although um, not, it wouldn't be good for the undercarriage with the big, uh, the big mounds of earth there and stones, but <laughs> for that reason alone I shall call it undercarriage bridge. Ah. Dog walker. I'm going to walk this way a little bit, see if it comes up or go through the forest before turning around. So the undercarriage um, trail has brought us quite a long way actually up and heading in this direction. And it's going to do one of um, two things. It's either going to end in one of the fields at the top there, which is what I think it will probably do, or it will go down and um, to the river and it will be the other side of that uh, river crossing that we didn't make the other day. I've stopped and I've had a, um, a fantastic little uh, soiree here on this little, um, well I'll show you actually if I can just manage to get off. Oh, I'm quite comfortable up here actually. Oh, oh. There we are. I perched myself on this little beam here, off this fallen tree, which is rather nice. So I'm going to, I am going to carry, continue on with this path up here. Um, hopefully it brings me out pretty shortly. Um, because obviously this is my third and final day here. I shall have to draw a load of crosses on the map at the end of this day. And we have still got two routes that way one route at the top of there so we've still got three avenues of exploration that side and one avenue on this side so i'm going to keep with this um till i find an appropriate stopping point i think <laughs> 